Hey guys, in this video I will show you through examples how to find empirical and molecular formula of an unknown compound. Without any further ado, let's dive into it. The simplest or empirical formula for a compound is the smallest whole number ratio of atoms present in the compound. On the other hand, molecular formula indicates the actual number of atoms present in the molecule. It may be the same as empirical formula or different. For example, HO is an empirical formula for hydrogen peroxide that has a molecular formula H2O2. Let's move to an example. Find the empirical formula and molecular formula of a compound that contains forty percent carbon, six point seventy two percent hydrogen and oxygen. Molecular weight of the compound is one hundred eighty gram per mole. If you have molecular weight, as in this case, or have the option to find the molecular weight, find that first. Let's move now to the solution of this example. We are going to use conversion factors to find directly the molecular formula. This will work only if you have or can find molecular weight of the compound. Let's run the calculations. As you can see here, we use the molecular weight of this formula of this unknown compound and we multiply it with the percentage of the carbon, that is 40 gram of carbon in 100 gram of this unknown compound. And after that, we have a simplification here and we multiply also with the molecular mass of the carbon to convert it in a number that corresponds to the molecular formula number. Now let's find for the hydrogen. So from here we can find that we have 12 hydrogens on our molecular formula. Now let's move to oxygen. In order to find the number of oxygens contained in our compound, we have to run a simple calculation to find the percentage of the oxygen. Now let's find the number of oxygens that contains our compound. So it contains six oxygens and the molecular formula is C6, H12 and O6. This is the molecular formula. What about empirical formula? In this case we have to divide this formula by six in order to find the smallest whole number ratio for this compound. So this is the empirical formula. Another way to find the empirical formula and molecular formula. First step. We have to find the number of moles for each element by assuming for 100 gram of the compound. So we have Step 2 we have to divide all number of moles already found with the smallest number of moles available. In this case is 3.33. So we have So the ratio is CH2O. In this way firstly we find the empirical formula. With this method, we need an extra step to find the molecular formula by using the molecular weight of the molecular formula divided by the molecular weight of the empirical formula. We find a coefficient that is going to multiply the empirical formula to give us the molecular formula. So, as you can see, we can calculate with both methods. But for me, I personally like the one with conversion factors. It's up to you what you like more. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Peace.